What's up guys, welcome back to our video. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So we have not done a cooking video in literally forever, okay? It's been like a week now. No, we two weeks actually. So today we're gonna be making a cooking video. We're gonna be making omelets. So I already have my omelet in here. So for like every like turn of like salt, I like to do like four or five turns of salt and like 10 turns of pepper, I think, cause I like more pepper in my eggs. So usually the omelet actually doesn't wind up well cause I probably don't put enough butter in the pan. But right now we're gonna saute our vegetables. We have three vegetables. We got scallions. Onions, onions, we do not say onions on this channel, and green pepper. So let's cut everything. Okay, it's beautiful today. Okay, we're gonna. The reason why we saute is because you don't want a raw onion or a raw pepper in your eggs, it's not gonna taste very good. Okay, let's chop up our scallions. Take out one scallion. I'm gonna use about two scallions for this. Scallions are delicious. They have a very nice flavor. And I and I usually use all of the scallion, not just white, white and green. I use both. So I was watching Master Chef, which is basically a TV show with really good chefs. There's two Master Chefs. Master Chef uh, for adults and Master Chef for kids. And the Master Chef adults, they suck at cooking, bro. They're horrible. But the Master Chef kids, they can cook, you guys. They are so good at cooking. They make me look like a bad cook, and I'm already pretty freaking good at cooking, so. Let me just chop up more scallions and throw them into the pan. I like, I like, a lot of toppings because uh, it gives its flavor. This is a very healthy element. We're also gonna cut up a, a yellow onion. Take off all the skin. You don't want skin in your omelet, that's for sure. So since onions have layers, they're not too hard to chop. I don't believe they're too hard to chop. Um, Let me throw my onions in. This is what the onions look like, by the way. Throw them in there. Green pepper. All of these ingredients are basics in an omelet. Uh, peppers, ugh, you win. We're not gonna saute these for a very long time only because we need to put them in the omelet. I don't want the omelet to burn. I put it the omelet at a very low heat because I don't like burnt eggs. I'm gonna take... All right. Oh my gosh, our omelet is actually coming off for once. Okay, I think I put enough butter in the pan this time. All right, next ingredients, all right? We're gonna move away from our vegetables and we're gonna go into the fridge. We're gonna get some things, okay? We have ham and cheese, okay? Okay, so this is gonna be super good. So what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna throw our ham into the eggs. You don't want to break the ham up. You can do that. I prefer, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this and lots of people are going to disagree with me. I prefer, honestly, I prefer ham over bacon. Mm -hmm. I know that's going to spark a lot of hate on my channel, but I don't know. I love bacon. It's pretty good, but I think ham, it has like the same flavors as bacon does, but it's a lot less fatty and a lot less greasy. That's why I prefer ham. Mmm, so good. All right, we're gonna put in a lot of cheese. We're gonna look at our vegetables and see what's going on. All right, we can put our vegetables onto the omelet now. This is gonna be a big, 
omelet, guys. Alright, uh, let me let me flip the omelet. If it doesn't break, then we'll be good. <gasps> oh, I might have put too much stuff in it. Uh, no, you can never put too much stuff in an omelet. There we go. Well, there's probably more toppings than eggs. I would not be surprised if that was the case. Okay, there's way too many toppings in here. I think we need to get rid of like half of it. Okay, there we go. But everything looks like it's melting very harmoniously. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is kind of, I'm a little tired today. Uh, that's because I woke up, so that's why. Um, I'm always tired in case you guys haven't figured that out. So this is uh, almost going super well. Um, we need to plate it. See, the almond's just about ready. A kitchen can be so messy just by making the omelet. It just proves how messy a kitchen can get, even if you cook like such a simple meal. Okay, so we're gonna garnish with a little pepper. Go. And this is our omelet, you guys. <gasps> Looks so good, right? Okay, we're gonna try it. <laughs> this is a very healthy omelet. We have our eggs and ham for the protein. We have tons of vegetables in here and some cheese for the dairy. So we have a lot of different flavors in here, which I'm super ready to indulge in, you guys. And finally, we don't have to make a part two, thank God. Mmm, 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 mmm. If there was one thing I could change about this omelet, I'd probably put in more ham. But overall, diner breakfast on a plate, baby. Oh my god. Guys, this is so good. Mm. Mm. The peppers give it a nice crunch, a nice juiciness. Scallions give it a great flavor. The cheese uh, is melting in my mouth. The saltiness of the ham and the protein just really comes through in this omelet. It's so good. Mm. Mm. 